one of the common threads in if i analyze all the previous names exams is that they like asking about this particular topic okay so this is an image this was there in a previous ina exam anybody can make a diagnosis based on the image that i'm showing you right now before we look at the question so this is your bronchus and it looks as if you have some grapes hanging from the bronchial tree can you see it here it looks like there is cystic dilatation of the bronchial tree giving rise to a bunch of grapes appearance bunch of grapes appearance tell me bronchial tree showing cystic dilatation is seen in cystic bronchiectasis so this patient has bronchiectasis involving the right lower lobe so the answer to the question is anybody c my question to you is some of you might be thinking and wondering sir why this is not cystic fibrosis even in cystic fibrosis you will have bronchiectasis can you tell me why this is not cystic fib fibrosis cystic fibrosis is a autosomal recessive disorder leading to thick tenacious mucus so it leads to bronchiectasis but in the upper lobe predominant cystic fibrosis will have upper lobe predominant bronchiectasis this is lower lobe predominant so we were able to rule it out so why this is not a infarct okay some of you will ask me sir why this is not a infarct so infarct in the lung is a hemorrhagic infarct so there will be blood filling up the alveoli it will be seen as a opacity here you see lucencies dark areas infarction in the lung will be seen as a opacity let me explain to you if you have a infarct in the lung you will see a peripheral wedge shaped opacity with convexity towards the hilum okay anybody can give me the name of the person who described it if you have a infarct in the lung you will see a peripheral wedge shaped opacity with convexity towards the hilum anybody the answer is hamptom's hump so dr hamptom described it so we say hamptom's hump and in pulmonary embolism you will have a focal oligemic area so disha i think now you will be right now so focal oligemia that means reduced blood flow area seen in the x ray chest in pulmonary embolism is called as dr westermark described it westermark sign are you clear so sometimes they ask you a question uh, hamptom sum westermark sign seen in the answer is pulmonary embolism but remember pulmonary infarct is going to be wedge shaped opacity peripherally placed with a convex margin towards the hilum which is called as the hamptom sum and hydated in the lung is a large structure usually does not calcify grows to large sizes if shows a partial rupture you will see a water lily like appearance so if there is a partial rupture of the hydrated you will see the daughter cyst floating leading to a water lily like appearance okay so let me ask you name two signs of bronchiectasis which are visible in the image shown to you name two signs of bronchiectasis which are visible in the image to you all of you smart boys and girls let me know what do you think this is two parallel lines the bronchial walls have become parallel to each other let us call it tram track sign okay and the bronchus is dilated more than the accompanying bronchus more than the accompanying blood vessel let us call it signet ring sign okay so we saw the bunch of grape sign now we have two more signs to remember tram track appearance signet ring sign signet ring sign signs of bronchiectasis on a ct scan everybody clear okay so let me ask you one more question now many of you when i show you the previous image of bronchiectasis they get confused can you also look at the image that i'm trying to show you now tell me the findings and your diagnosis what is this image can you see the lung anatomy is looking very sharp here why why is the lung anatomy appearing so sharp this is a hrct investigation of choice to 
characterize interstitial lung disease everybody clear everybody understands whenever they ask you investigation of choice to characterize interstitial lung disease like they have multiple times asked in inict exam in the past please mark hrct come back and give your interview to me but also remember what does this show these are stacks of cysts sitting over one another non communicating cyst at the lung base what is this honey combing so what do you see here honey combing basal subplural involvement honey combing and the bronchi i want you to appreciate this the bronchus in the area of the honey combing because this is all fibrosed end stage lung is getting pulled because of that pull that bronchus is getting dilated i will call it traction traction means pull traction bronchiectasis so what is your answer this is usual interstitial pneumonia uip or poor prognosis so remember honey combing in the lung base with subpleural involvement along with traction bronchiectasis on a hrct think about uip usual interstitial pneumonia okay now i am very happy that you know most palak megha swami anjali you were able to diagnose now can you tell me if this is a hrct of a patient with the restrictive pattern on spirometry what do you see here this patient has basal ground glass opacities so what are there you have basal ground glass opacities but the important thing is here there is subpleural sparing subpleural area is spared so notice this okay let me just get the image back there is a dark area okay so notice this there is a black area between the pleural surface and the opacity so that part is spared so this is subpleural sparing what is your answer n s i p non specific interstitial pneumonia everybody clear okay very good so i see ankita and aditi and palak are all rocking so because you are doing so well let me ask you a image this question has been asked in the inict exam same image tell me what is this now here you see there is a cavity like thing in the lung a rounded cavity like thing in the lung with some floating crumpled membrane showing something equivalent to what we see on x ray when we say water lily appearance what is this this is your hydatid on a ct scan are you clear okay everybody understands so this is what is happening in the exam sometimes you are getting confused because you are not looking at the question with the total detail given in the question but when you see it it becomes easy these are the signs that you can see in bronchiectasis we saw them tramp tracks signet ring string of pearls bunch of grapes